Read code question number 947. Most stones removed with the same low or column. This is a medium question. Let's get into it. Uh, on a 2D frame, uh, we place stone at some integer coordinate point. Each coordinate point may have at most one stone. Now, a move consists of leaving a stone that shared a column or a row with another stone to break. What the largest possible number of moves we can make? Okay, let's check with example one. Uh -huh, on the 2D plane, and then this is X, and this is Y. And then, we need one and two. This is one and two. So that this is 0, 0, is here and 0, 1 is here. 1, 0 is here and then 1, 2. Uh, 1, 2 is here. 2, 1 is here, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, this is 1, 2 and then this is 2, 1 and then 2, 2 is here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And this time we need to remove the same remove, and then this one also same remove, same remove, remove, remove. This is quite a similar thing the grouping, right? So uh, same row and same column we able to grouping like this. So return the group number, number of group, and then this is one, and then. Actually, we needed to uh, return how many stone move. At that time, that means is total six minus remaining that is move, right? So answer is five. How we wanna do that? Do you remember? Have you ever solved the question uh, number of island? That is a very famous question, and the frequency is extremely high so uh, in this case maybe we able to serve not only DFS but also in your find but today I gonna use DFS because DFS is very common approach so mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay <laughs> let's implement it okay first uh, in this case we don't have any uh, any the matrix to update so we may we need the one set name is visited set and we need I will make two group axis axis I will use the list with map so collections default dig and list why search the same collections <coughs> And list. And then let's fill axis and y's. I will get x and y from stones. And then x s y append x y's y's x append y. And then now I traverse stone to check visited one by one so if so start here and then if x and y in not in visited, it did not visit it. I will add visited <coughs> and then I will clean another stone, the same row and the same column, and then count plus one. Then return count. No, this is the remaining. So, how many stone we leave is length stones. Number of stone I must count. Does this make sense? Zero. And 
then let's make green x and y, list of x and y, and then first for an x, new neck, new x in axis y, and then if an x and y not in fidgeted, then I will add y and then clean stop the nx and y for ny in y's x if x and y not in visited visited at x and ny clean x and y I think yeah, almost done. Let's check the code. Okay. Fix the typo. Okay, looks good. Okay, time complexity is okay. This is M, and then this also M because we did not, we only visited one stone one time, right? Everyone it visited, it added to visited, right? So time complexity is n, and then space complexity also n because we use that. Thank you.